Hi Mucker, welcome back! Okay, so I am just gonna be doing a little quick video here for you. I'm just in my filming room, the cardboard cutouts are here, and it's a mess. I just wanted to give you a little haul. I never really do hauls, ever, just because I normally only buy like one thing at a time. But I was in London yesterday, I went to the National Gallery, which is an art museum, and I got to see Van Gogh's original paintings. And if you know anything about me, you know that I'm a huge art lover, and I also love Van Gogh. I love his life story, I think it's super interesting, and his paintings are just, they're magnificent. And being able to see them, you know, being there and seeing the strokes, it was just, it was, it was a mind-blowing experience. So please ignore that I'm just wearing this. I'm gonna put a shirt over it, but I thought I may as well show you all the shirts before I like start putting them away. So first of all, in the museum, I got a couple things. The first thing I got was this, which is a tote bag of one of the paintings by Van Gogh that was actually in the building. And I think this is super cool and it's actually really good quality. So I got that and then I got another one of them of the Sunflower painting which I was super excited to see, but really annoyed that it was not there. It's supposed to be there, but it goes on tour, and it was in Paris, I think, or it's in Paris right now, so it wasn't in London. It'll be back, so whenever it is, I'm gonna go back, but I got this of it anyway, because I love this painting, and I love this painting for multiple reasons, but one reason is, in primary school, it was one of the first artist pieces that we ever had to study so whenever I was like four years old I did my own version of this because it's kind of like what the skills introduced you to. Then I got a book on Van Gogh and this isn't one about his life necessarily this is kind of about all the different paintings and talking about them because next month I am going to the Van Gogh exhibit or experience I think it's called and it's basically all of his paintings coming to life in different projectors and different rooms that are modeled to be like his paintings so I wanted to know I know everything about each of them before I go to that so again got this pretty cool and then I got this in the gift shop as well and it's a little framed sunflower painting and this was five pound and it's just really cute I'm just gonna have it on my desk and then after that did I do anything else in terms of the museum? No, I think that was all I got in terms of the museum. But then I went to Camden Market, and Camden Market is a really fun thrifting district and fun vintage shops and just really cool markets. They had really cool food places. I wasn't that hungry though, I would love to go back whenever I am hungry. And they had a lot of different cool clothing places and jewelry places and traveling stuff. It was really cool, and so I went to all the shops, but I bought things in two of them. One of them was a thrifting shop and the other was this really cool shop. And it was denim jackets that had been like thrifted or something and prints had been printed on the back of them. Now they had these of every artist ever, but I didn't want to be carrying back a lot of denim jackets because they're quite heavy. So I got the, first of all, they're really good quality. So this was the first one I got. And on the back, it is Lana Del Rey, Born to Die. So let me actually show you what this looks like on. I don't know if, you, yeah, I'm still in frame. So this was printed on a bunch of different denim jackets. So this was just my favorite one. So this is the biggest one because I wanted a bigger fit. Oh, I'm actually wearing, oh, I, I actually like this with the white shirt underneath. Hold on. Okay, and then that's what it looks like on the back. So you can let me know what you think about this. Let me know if, which one is your favorite because there's two. So that was the first one. That is in a size large, I think. Then this was the second one. I'm going to put this on, or well, I may as well show you it. It is an Amy Winehouse one. And it says, Back to Black. And it's just a really nice jacket as well. And it has this cream, like, fringe here. So let me put this one on to show you. Let me fix it up first put the collar down. Again, they had this in a bunch of different denim jacket styles where this was white as well, but I kind of like the cream version. And then this is what it looks like on the back. So I love this one as well. So you can let me know what you think of that. I can't wait to wear them out. I, I love wearing denim jackets and I never thought that I had enough of them. So hopefully I can go back and get a bunch of other designs too. Then I went into the thrifting shop. There was a lot of like vintage clothes shops. This one was kind of I was like, I'm not going to buy anything, I'm not going to buy anything, I'm not going to buy anything, and I didn't. But then I got to this final one, and they had really good stuff. 
So I did some damage in there, and I'm now going to give you a little haul. So this is a Tommy Hilfiger shirt, and a lot of people ask where I get my outfits from because I try to like have different outfits on in my main channel videos just to kind of like separate them. I get them mainly in thrift shops. So this is a Tommy Hilfiger, and it's really nice. I love wearing yellow personally, so very excited to wear that. And, by the way, this is not going to be that exotic. It's kind of the same brands I shopped in. There were, like, different sections. Then this is uh, Polo by Ralph Lauren. Or Ralph Lauren. I'm just going to say Ralph Lauren. I think it's Lauren. I'm just going to say Lauren. And it's a really cool blue and black. So I'm very excited about that. Then there is this shirt, which is a Polo by Ralph Lauren. And it is just a blue shirt, like, blue dressy shirt. So I can't wait to wear this as well. I like wearing shirts like that. And it's kind of this material. You know, where it's a little bit harsher on your skin, but I kind of like wearing them. Oh, I got this in the museum as well. It is a crew neck, and it has Vincent van Gogh engraved in it here. And then in the back is the painting. Kind of a lazy design, honestly. And it was quite expensive. It was like £40. But I'm, I'm excited to wear it nonetheless. Then I got this. This is a Ralph Lauren as well. This is an extra small. Oh, I didn't realize I got extra small. I wasn't really looking at size. I just kind of held them up. So this one is pretty nice, it's giving me like school vibes, maybe Harry Potter vibes, even though I've never watched that movie before. And I just kind of really like that colouring. I didn't realise that that was an extra small. Oh, I also got this in the museum. It is the most hideous shirt ever of the Sunflower. But you know what? I am going to just make this work somehow. It, I acknowledge that this is a very hideous shirt and it's a medium. But I just thought it was fun. Maybe I'll just wear it going about the house or something like that. Then I got this, which is a polo by Ralph Lauren. These colors are fun. It's giving me very bumblebee. So what size is this? This is a me this is a medium, and this is fucking huge. So there is that. Then I have this, which is really cool. This is a Rolling Stones tour t-shirt from 1972. Look at this. From 1972. This is the tour t-shirt from it. No, I don't know any Rolling Stones songs. I don't care that I'm going to wear this shirt. Bite me, bitch. Literally, people are so anal about that, where they're like, you've never listened to that artist. Yeah, and I look better wearing the shirt of them than you do, babe. Anyway, so then I got this, which is a Playboy shirt. This one's just quite fun as well. I actually got this because my friend Joni always wears Playboy-themed stuff, and she always looks super good, and I kind of associate it with her. So I saw this. And honestly, the main reason I bought it was because I was like, oh my god, Joni has something that looks like this. So again, this is really the only reason that I bought that. Then there are two more pieces. Yes, there are. The next is a Ralph Lauren in medium. No, this is an extra large, damn. So this is the front of it. Their sizes are super weird because this kind of looks like a medium in another Ralph Lauren. So this is the front, a super vibrant red. And then the back has a little three on it. So, excited to wear that. And then the final, final item is this, which is a Ralph by Ralph Lauren. And it is a large. And it is a very pink shirt. And I just think it's cute, you know what I mean? Like, I'll be able to get this to work. So, I mean, I may as well, now that I've shown you everything, we may as well decide what I'm going to wear today. I'm getting ready right now, I just got a shower, which is why my hair is horrible. I like the idea of wearing this pink one. This is a maybe... I don't really feel like wearing, this is very heavy, Playboy shirt, not now, Rolling Stones, this is a maybe, this is a maybe, I'll put this over here, this is, no, it's too heavy, this, ugly, we're not wearing that, this, uh, it's too small for me to wear it right now, this, from the museum, we are not going to wear this right now, this blue shirt, no. This is a maybe. Like, I think this is fun to wear, but mm, I'm not really feeling blue right now. <sighs> but I like the idea of wearing this. Okay, so what are our contenders? There's a lot of yellow. I think I just love wearing yellow. Rolling st Okay, I'm gonna try them on. You know what? Let's just try them on. We have all the time in the world. So, how are you? I love going to London, but I love going to London because I can come back to Brighton. London is just very hectic, and I'm exhausted by the end of it. Oh. Oh, this is very... Okay, this is actually quite fun. What do we think? Like, obviously, I'm gonna have to tuck it in because it's quite big. 
this is this is quite fun. And I'll be tucking it in here, so this is the great length. The arm's quite fun. What does the back look like? Okay, you know what? I've kind of made my mind up that I like this. Mm, it has that thrifting smell. Let's try this Tommy Hilfiger on. Again, this is an extra large dam. This looks like a medium. So I'll put this on too. The guys in the shop were super nice. Uh, they were offering me to try everything on, but I really don't like trying things on and thrifting. I don't know why, it just takes up too much time. I would rather get it, hate it, and return it, or give it to someone else. There is no way this is an extra large. Are you fucking kidding me? Extra large my ass. This is the, the tightest one yet. Like, this feels like a small. I, this is not an extra large. Let me button it up, though. Okay, there... I hate whenever they... This is... How is this an extra large? What year was this fucking made in for this to be an extra large? I mean, it's fun. What do we think? It's really tight. I hate this false advertising. I just don't understand how this is an extra large whenever I barely fit in it. Damn, I didn't think I wouldn't... Hmm. What do we... Do we like it or no? You know what? I'm in a yellow mood, so it's just going to be one of the two. Hi, everyone. Just trying to see how it would look in a... You know what? We're going to wear this one. We're going to wear this one. I don't like the false advertising about it being an extra large, though. Here's the design of it. I would do the top button, but I literally don't think that's possible right now. So, I mean, that was a little haul of what I got in London. I don't like spending that much, so I don't go in hauls that often. I hope you enjoyed it. Tell me what your favorite piece is. Thank you for watching this video. And yeah, I just wanted to give you a little update, I guess. Bye.